More on the UK's localised lockdowns. Our reporter Victoria Smith is in London. From midnight, uh, a huge swathe of the northeast of England uh, is now uh, undergoing further restrictions, further lockdowns. People have been told they can no longer mix with anyone outside their family or social bubble. Hospitality has been told to shut down by 10 p.m. And I can tell you in the northeast, that's a bit of a blow to, to the pub goers, the restaurant goers, and that trade as well. So essentially a curfew there. And we're hearing this morning that Lancashire could be next. The whole of Lancashire, except Blackpool, could face similar restrictions. And there's a nationwide wide picture emerging too rosy with talks from the government of a what they call a circuit break which could see the closure of hospitality businesses for a short period of time in a bid to get this this clearly the second wave of infection under control obviously the government is very keen to see that there's no national lockdown they know that this would be disastrous for the economy Rishi Sunak has said that uh, already this morning but uh, we're seeing an increasingly large patchwork of local lockdowns with more restrictions coming. We don't yet know if this rule of six, this the last set of restrictions saying we couldn't mix with more than six people, we don't know if that's working yet. Uh, if not, we're looking at more deaths. Medical experts are saying by the end of October and this circuit break of hospitality shutting down across England until things get better. All the decisions that the government are basing this on are things like how many people every day get a confirmed case of coronavirus. But one of the real challenges right now is just getting your hands on a test. What is the status of testing across the UK right now? Well, the government, in fact, uh, the head of the department, the NHS uh, Test and Trace Department, Lady, Lady Harding, has expressed surprise that demand is outstripping supply. But uh, it is the cough and cold season. Half a million of us every day are presenting with COVID-like symptoms. You've, you've got to remember that a cold is a type of coronavirus. Schools have gone back. Universities have gone back. So uh, the public perhaps shouldn't be blamed, as they are being, for, uh, for seeking tests to make sure that their family is safe in this season of sniffles. But uh, the government has people to desist from doing that because um, there aren't enough tests and people are having to go much further to find them. There are, there are stories of people turning up at testing centres with no staff to help them. Uh, we know that even the leader of the opposition, Zakia Starmer, has had to self-isolate for longer than expected after one of his children had COVID-like symptoms and he didn't get the test back when he thought. Ideally, you're meant to get test results back in 24 hours, but in the last seven days, only 14% of test results have come Come back in that time frame as compared to 33% the week before. Uh, meanwhile, uh, cases here are rising exponentially and it is feared that there may be more deaths as a result of that by the end of October. Nonetheless, Boris Johnson and Lady Harding say they're still confident they'll reach this projected target of 500,000 people being tested across the UK by the end of October.